I'm so lucky. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Luckiest girl in the world. The luckiest girl. So lucky. Hello, hi, Lanisha here. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Um, I thought I'd do this video because. I wanted to and also I saw another video about an adult grown adult going back to school and some tips and advice and just really just talking about the journey of going back to school after being a college dropout here we go I have some things listed down below so it should not be too long because I like to ramble so yes, I decided to go back to school for 2024. I registered for school January 2024 because I knew if I didn't do it at the beginning of the, the year, not school year, but my school year, the year, um, I would prolong it and make up another excuse. Now, going back to school and what brought me to this point as a grown adult has life experiences had many job experiences and been in the workforce for about 15 years um one of the main reasons is because i despise my current job i know that's like a lot to say um i feel like everyone just does not like their job but i've i know because of the disadvantage that I have that I did not finish school that I have to continue working these kinds of jobs and working so hard to level up within the company and I just I don't want to do that anymore I don't want to be in this position anymore I don't want to have to kiss anyone's behind to move ahead and I, I just really want to take this disadvantage of not having my college degree out of the equation altogether so that was the main force of me going back to school as a full grown adult. Um, also, I'm, if you see my eyes coming down, I'm just, I'm trying to stick to my list so I don't, you know, ramble too much. I want a life reset. This is really the push I need. Like I stated, I've, I've started in January, and got everything done, and I just really was thinking, okay, this could be my pivot. This could be my reset. It is a journey. Obviously, it can't happen overnight right now for me, but I need something to help me open doors and opportunities. So this is the reset that I'm going with for now. Speaking of the journey, since it's not a quick fix, that kind of always been my persuasion on not going back because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going to take forever. The time frame, um, I have so much to do, which I still do. I still have responsibilities. I still have to work my nine to five, which is actually not nine to five, it's eight to five. I still have to pay bills. I still have to be a full-time parent. And that is overwhelming at some points as I discovered this past weekend, but I see the end goal and I am striving for that. So despite the journey being long, that the end results will make it worth it. I am so drained and over being rejected for applying for positions or jobs that I am pretty much overqualified for. I've been in the financial institution world for many years. I've done every single role within a financial institution. And if you don't know what I'm speaking about, I'm talking about commercial banking. For so long, I've done every role. And yet, I still have to apply for these jobs, get rejected because I do not have the degree. Or I apply for the job and I you know, obviously have the experience and the certificates and also I have the people, the management backing me up, but I get offered way less than my counterpart. I get offered way less than what they would and I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm frustrated. Obviously, yes, I, I will like to work for myself, but that is just, it's just not happening. So this is going back to school is my reality and getting myself out of this 
block that I have is also my reality. I do feel at my very big age that I am, I should have more to show for it. Um, I've done many things in my life. I've traveled. I've, I've had two sons. I've gone places. I've met so many different variety types of people and yet I still feel stagnant and I think that going back to school will give me not give me but possibly show me more of what my purpose is another block that I had when going back to school as a full-grown adult at my big age as I've mentioned is the time because it is time consuming and I have to put time in it and it's a longer time frame than I don't know applying for a new job or um, losing weight or you know it's just the time frame is set right and something I heard from many people encouraging people and read is that regardless God willing time's gonna pass anyways so I might as well be doing something to better my life and I know that this will better my life I know I have the mic by the way side note close to me because I think that last time I did my video with the mic and the sound was going in and out because I kept moving it so I'm trying to keep it as close as possible hopefully this is not distracting to anyone but yes time's gonna pass anyways time's gonna be there regardless i i should be doing what i want with my life and what i want is further my education so that's what i'm doing this is a big one as well i want to set my family up for success i have two sons and they are getting older and they are uh, especially my oldest is just looking at you know his options for college and what did you do mom what did dad do mom um or dad do (laughs) and what what should I do what's the best fit obviously I can guide him as much as possible but I really want him to I want to be the example for them I want them to do things regardless of the obstacles regardless of others opinions it's like do even my own opinion because I am very opinionated when it comes to my sons but I just want them to do what makes them happy and I want them to be the highest level of success that they can reach for themselves and I want to be that example I know that at the end of this journey because it's just one of few right one of many I should say journeys that I'm on in my life finishing school um I know that this will open doors and opportunities some maybe I have thought of or some that may just come up during this experience but I know that I'm open and ready for these opportunities and I want to put myself in the position that I can receive them so this was a big factor as well as going back to school to more money essentially more money (laughs) this is what it's about really I know this is such a a known phrase is work harder and you know everything you want will come into your life I I absolutely don't agree I don't want to work harder I do not want to work myself to death um, I want to work smarter yes but I also want to work and still have a life I still want passion I still want um, to spend time with my family I, I still want to go I, I want to go on vacations I still want to go on vacations I don't do that I, I want to enjoy my life and not work to death and the route I'm going especially with you know working a job paying into your retirement fund like you practically are working until you're 70 years old and that's it after that if you're not dead then you can live a little bit of life if you can afford it. And I just don't see that self. I don't see that for myself. So I want to dead that notion and just move in a completely different direction. And I think this is the way to do it for now. And I know, hopefully, maybe another video I'll make on this thought that I have and why and where it's coming from about working harder, but just 
working up the ladder within a company or going job hopping is so draining and almost like dehumanizing because you're these companies are pretty much putting their worth on you and you have to agree because you have nothing to back it up yes I have experience but what do I have to show for it and I need this piece of paper to show I'm worth more than what you're offering I think that's all for now <laughs> like this these are the reasons why I decided to go back to school as a full-grown adult and um at this point I will be in my fifth course uh for school and I have about ooh, I have a lot more <laughs> so I'll, I'll keep you guys posted if you if you want to hear about this journey or interested in in, in this topic please like and also subscribe because that does help my channel but um yeah if you're interested just put something in the comments and I'll continue to do this but yeah this this is the path I'm on um I only got down about three tips for a full-grown adult and when I say full-grown adult that means you've had life experience um you dropped out of college or maybe you even decided not to go to college out of high school and you know things happened one thing led to another you find yourself in this position again debating and thinking about yeah I I do want to do this I do want this for myself um just some tips to help you get over the hump or the beginning stages of going back to school that I have is embarrassed I feel and felt embarrassed because I'm like this is something that I should have done in my 20s in my early 20s I should have been done with this but life happened and I chose a different path at the time for myself. I had to get over that and so do you. If you want this journey for yourself, that's something we just have to get over. It. We just, it's there. We feel the way we feel. It is what it is. Move on. Like, still press towards what you want. Um, I had to get over that and I also had to get over the time frame. I'm like, oh, it's going to take forever. By the time I get this, it's gonna, I'm going to be this age or this is going to happen. My son's going to be like, that's still there. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. And I do move a little bit differently because I want to be productive uh, during my week. And I want to have my schedule and I want to hit, you know, certain milestones. But it doesn't stop me. It didn't stop me this time around. Um from going back to school as it has in the past many of times has stopped me from going forward um like i said it's january is current i started in january it's currently april so i do have some more time to go a lot of time to go but i feel fine about my decision i've just accepted that that's my reality for now um when you go back to school as an adult there's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of talking with counselors, advisors, the school, the schools want to decide whether you will need to do it in person, online. There's so much communication. And at first, this was very overwhelming. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I don't want to do this. This seems like a lot of extra work. I don't have time for it. But I would highly suggest, this is my second tip, by the way, highly suggest that you just do it just tell them I'll call you on my lunch um I'll call you call me at this time before school or excuse me before work or after work just make the time for it because most of the time these people that are reaching out these counselors these advisors these um even I had like you know the tutors uh you need assistance with this the the librarians whatever the case may be they're reaching out to you because most of them have been in your position before or they've dealt with people in your position and the, and there's such a high rate of uh, people that do not graduate because they don't know what their resources are. So when you can, just make the time, talk to these people, take their the information. Everything may not apply to you. Just take the information and what does make it stick and what doesn't. You know, let it be. That's not for you. 
just talk to the people, talk to the advice, talk to the counselors, let them give you the information and resources to help you succeed. My last thing I would um, add is for the most part, even though I'm posting this online, (laughs) for the most part, you guys don't know me personally. I would keep the information to yourself. I'm keeping this to myself because so many conversations in the past that I've had about going back to school, about doing such and such or succeeding in something, doubt, doubt, doubt has crept in. And I do not need, I can doubt myself all day long. I am the biggest um, thinker about things. I am my biggest critic. I don't need any outside doubters coming into my train of thought. So I would keep this close to your chest. This at the end of the day, it is for you. It's for your family. So I would keep it close to your chest. I wouldn't be sharing this with anyone because sometimes, as you guys know, that saying misery loves company. If they didn't do it or if they can't do it or if they have already done it and they're like, you're too old for that. Like, you should try something else. Just keep it to yourself. Um I have shared, of course, you ha- if you have to share for help or like help with family or uh, information or anything like that, and you need to tell someone, obviously do for those reasons. But, you know, casual conversations with friends and families, sometimes th- you can keep things for yourself until you've overcome that hump, right? Until you, you got the degree, until you're close to it, at least. So I would say keep what's good for you close to your chest in general because it's for you and you don't want any negative um statements comments any doubt to ruin what you built up for yourself your motivation so yeah those are my three my three tips at the end of this video and uh, i will continue to talk about my journey if anything else comes up um I'll let you guys know but yeah that's the path I am I am on right now so I do have a lot going on we know school family work but who doesn't thank you so much for watching this and I will see you in the next one bye now